Hey guys, this is John. Welcome to another video from the Reaper blog. In this video, I'm going to show you five tips for the Reaper mixer. So the first tip is something that you may come across on the Mac, and it is jumpy faders. So look at this. That's terrible. So how do we fix this? We open up our preferences, uh, search for tooltip. And just uncheck this. There, smooth as butter. All right, that's tip number one. Tip number two, disable the output. So to disable outputs for tracks, meaning you don't want them to go to the master or you don't want them to go to the folder track. So if these are in a folder and we don't want this particular track to go to this track, then we uncheck this, right? But there's also a shortcut, hold down option and click, and that will disable it. So there's a few reasons for that. Um, if you're using a track with a certain drum pattern, but only as a sidechain signal. Also, if you're going out to analog hardware and coming back on another track, you don't want to have that signal duplicated in your mixer. All right, tip number three is uh, some mixer shortcuts for effects. So as I'm sure you know, you can click on a effect in the mixer and it'll pop up. But if you hold down Command or Control on Windows, it will bring up the effects chain as well. And we can toggle the effects chain. Uh, you can drag and drop to copy an effect. You can hold down Option or Alt and click and drag to move and insert. And you can Alt-click to remove. You can also Shift-Command-click, that's Shift-Control on a PC, to uh, turn effect offline. Again, to turn it back on and shift click to bypass. Oh, and one more, um, alt click the effects button here to remove all the effects from that chain. All right, tip number four is track layouts for the mixer. So we go to our screen sets layouts options in the view menu, and then mixer panel you just click in here and it brings up a menu. We can change these tracks to big meters, big meters with panning, uh, large, narrow, sidebar. I'm a fan of uh, large for the default theme. All right, and tip number five is master mono modes. So you may have noticed this mono button on your master panel. If you click it, you get whatever is down the middle of your mix. Uh, but if you right click it, you have a few other options. Solo left or solo right, or you could subtract left from right and you just get what's different. So the sides of your stereo mix. So let's have a listen. Pretty cool. I use that a lot. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed these tips. Check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials. Like, share, subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Bye.